Hi everyone, I'm Sang Kim. In this video, I would like to share how to calculate ACF and PACF coefficients for time series data in Excel NR. ACF means autocorrelation function and it measures correlation between xt and xt minus h. When h equals 1, we give a special name as Dobin Watson statistic. Typically, we use this Dobin Watson statistic for residual analysis in regression analysis. The PACF means partial correlation function. As you can see from uh, this formula, it is conditional correlation uh, when other variables are included. Identification of AR model in time series data is often best done with the PACF. So the PACF is like type 3 sum of scale to check significance of each variable in regression analysis. Okay, first order uh, PACF is uh, same as first order autocorrelation. I have prepared simple fictitious data to calculate ACF and PACF. In our program, you can get ACF from ACF function. There are two ways you can calculate PACF in R. When you use ACF function, you need to specify uh, type equals partial option. Alternatively, you can directly calculate PACF by using PACF function. Then you can get same outputs. In our program, it also provides ACF graph and PACF graph. So this bar is over the blue dotted line. It means that it is significant. So in this case, PACF uh, has significance at uh, leg 4. Let me show you how to calculate ACF and PACF in Excel. So uh, let's calculate uh, ACF first. So for uh, leg 0, we need to use first data minus average of all data. And times, again, okay, same formula, minus average of all data. For leg 1, second data minus average of all data times previous data minus average of all data. For leg 2, so data minus average of all data times first data minus average of all data. For leg 3, first data minus average of all data times first data minus average of all data. Lastly, leg 4 minus average of all data times first data minus average of all data. Right, we can apply this formula for other cells. In this way, you can get leg 5 or leg 6, etc. Right, let's, uh, in order to calculate ACF, the denominator part should be Calculate by dvsq function uh, with row data and numerator part is sum of leg zero, then ACF yeah, equals one because uh, the correlation itself actually means uh, the coefficient is zero, uh, one. 
the second uh, part so denominate part should be same and the numerate part for leg one for leg two for leg three for leg four right so as you can see we were able to calculate ACF like our outputs. Right, uh, let's move on to calculate PACF. In order to calculate PACF, we need to use this formula, right? So from uh, ACF, we need to make matrix, and then uh, we need to uh, use this formula. So we want to calculate pi k1, pi k2, phi kk, right? So let me copy paste here and the diagonal element should be 1 and the off diagonal elements should be same to other uh, direction so uh, 1 by 2 cell should be equal to 2 by 1 again 1 by 3 cell should be equal to uh, 3 by 1 this one okay the last one this one right and uh, again it should be uh, this one and uh, 4 by 2 cell should be this one and 4 by 3 cell should be this one then the other front uh, So uh, when you have more and more, more uh, ACF data, you can uh, expand the matrix, right? So as an example, just let me uh, show you how to calculate PA from PACF1 to PACF4, right? So again, PACF1 should be equal to uh, ACF this one because again, as I mentioned, first order partial correlation is equal to first order autocorrelation. And PACF2 uh, can be calculated using this formula. So I select this one and merge. Select 2 by 2 here because we consider PACF2, comma, same matrix, and inverse, and, and merge. Finally, merge, comma, and this part, so should be this one. And press Ctrl Shift Enter. Right, as you can see, the second elements is this one. Yeah, the first one, this one, this one. Okay, again, let me show you again for PACF3. Merge. Select 3 by 3 matrix, comma, 3 by 3, and inverse, comma, select again, and merge, comma, same data, same matrix, and emerge. and select vector three, 3 by 1 vector here and press ctrl shift enter uh, sorry for that and ctrl shift enter right select 4 by 1 and emerge 4 by 4 matrix, comma, 4 by 4 matrix, and M inverse, and merge, comma, and 
merge again, comma, uh, ACF vector here, close, and press Ctrl Shift Enter. All right. So as you can see, uh, for PACF, uh, from PACF2, uh, PACF3, PACF4, the last cell is what we want to calculate, right? So every uh, step we need to use uh, expand matrix dimension. So the last part, this one, this one, this one, this one, is the elements of PACF. Okay. So I showed you how to calculate ACF and PACF in Excel. I hope it was useful for you to understand how to calculate ACF and PACF in uh, Excel and R. Please click like and subscribe if it was useful for you. Thank you.